Hey guys, Ben here. In today's video we shall be unboxing a, another Imperial Knight product. In today's video we have Kynes Rex. Got this one for £85.50. He's normally 95 so save £9.50 when we're independent game shops. So this is it. This guy replaces the, the old Imperial Knight warding kit for the same price uh, they were 95 also. But it's the same kit, it can make all the knights like good used to. But you get the addition of Kynes Rex's part and the Knight Preceptor stuff. So, it's the same kit, but again, it's just both for the same price, you can't go wrong really. So, in this particular kit, you get Sir Hex on foot, and you get the Impel Knight of it itself. As you can see, it shows you all the options Knight Warden, Crusader, Paladin. Aaron. You can make your gallant obviously, but it's run out of room I guess. So Canis um Canis Rex has his last impulsor weapon, his freedom's hand, and his multi laser. Another interesting fact is that now they have a detailed cockpit. Which never used to have. So Canis Rex. Canis Rex is the knight preceptor of Sir Hector. <laughs> Cerberan, I guess. The renowned Chainbreaker. This valiant Freeblade is the last of his line, and a determined foe of the force of chaos in all of their farms. Noble and knight suit fighters want to punish those who destroy the homeworld. And there's Sir Hector himself. You get him on foot. So, let's crack him up. Him. So, it was pretty cool that, um, it'd be nice if, like, Forge World or Games Workshop released, like, more sprues like this. Can't get it out. Get a uh, release sprues which allow you to, that's pretty cool. Which allow you to uh, upgrade normal knights, have a different motives. Obviously, Canis Rex, he has his uh, wolf motif and he has the pilot himself. Be cool for like different ones. Hey, you could buy the sprues separately. So we have his instructions, nice and thick, we'll go over them in a sec. And we have one, two, Three, four, five sprues. Let's get all these out. Uh, you, normally it's five, it's four sprues, but obviously with there's an upgrade sprue in it now. So you have the big Pearl Knight side base. My camera keeps trying to focus on the uh, Avenger Gatling kind of the warden. Then you have your 28 mil base for Sir Hector. You get your tracing paper like you normally do with, with your with your knights, so you can do that like, Yoni Heldry. And you have some Imperial Knight transfer sheet. This is the newer one. And it has uh Canis Rex's Heldry and everything like that. Pretty nice. So we'll go over the instructions that we always do first. Kynes Rex with being a free blaze, um, he has to say his own colour scheme but with being a character he had, I'm unsure what his uh, what, what gear options are, I don't know if you can normally name characters you can't give him the additional piece of all gear, but on the model itself there's actually not a, a carapace mounted weapon so I'm unsure if you're able to give him one. So choose the variant you want to build, in this case we'll go with Kynes Rex. I assume all these first steps will be exactly the same. So this is how you assemble the legs. Imperial Knights, I imagine most people watching this have built at least one. Imperial Knights are really simple and straightforward to build. Uh, they're quite big models but don't let that intimidate you. They're really simple models to build. I also like how we uh, normally have like, eagles or cogs for mechanical cogs. For Canis, so you actually have a wolf head. It's pretty cool. And he shows how to build a cockpit. Canis himself. Uh, not, no, Sir Hector, sorry. Canis is the engine. Carapace. I wonder if you're able to actually. Looks like you're able to uh, op open and close the hatch as well. 
Oh, let me just glue it down. Yeah, Siren Spirit Lies Impulsor. Very similar weapons to the um, Imperial Knight, Serestus Knight Atropos. In fact, it's almost identical. I'll get it on screen for you in a second. Then, yeah, let's go that. Then the rest of the stuff fits, it's showing you where to put your transfers. The rest of the stuff is exactly the same, but with different knights, so we'll skip all that. Save messing about. We'll find his rules, see if we can upgrade him. I don't think you can. With him being a named character. Uh, no, you're not able to give him any additional rule, um, war gear, which I thought. But there's his rules for you. Those weapons. Uh, Sir Hector comes with his architect pistol, 15 inch, pistol one, strength five, minus two, two damage. It's pretty nice, nice little snubber. Laz Impulsor, that has two attacks, Th uh, low intensity is th 36 inches, 2d6, strength six, minus two, d3. High intensity is 18, so half the range and half the shots, but it's double the damage, double the rend, and double, double the strength. So, so, 12 minus 4d6. Multi laser, sand multi laser, 36, heavy 3, 6, 0, 1. Freedom sand times 2 minus 4 n, 2d6 damage. And then you get usual, um, your usual fist weapon, therefore, I thought we call them. Thunderstrike Gauntlet. Yes, yeah, Titanic feet. Then there's his abilities right there. 5 plus invul save. It was due to wounds. Um, and it explodes obviously and then if it gets a strip it does not explode so you set up Sir Hector Chainbreaker each time uh, an Imperium, a friendly Imperium model flees within 6 inch of Canis Rex on a 6 doesn't flee then he gets his Super Heavy Walker so very brief overview of the rules there so we'll look at Canis, he we'll look at Canis Rex as um, Spro first there's the Laz Impulsor right there or half of it this little bucket looking thing, that's the cockpit. There's his little power pack. And the pilot, where well, he's got his pilot helmet on. There's the banner for the Cafecanis Rex itself. Love the helmet, I really am really fond of the Templar looking helmet. And there's parts to assemble Hector. And there's his face there. And there's the uh, the iron shield, the heraldic shield there. I'm really unsure because I only have a warden. Well, I've got a magnetized warden, crusader, and paladin. Um, a castling, archipose, and two armiga warglaves. I'm unsure whether to have him as Canis Rex or to have him as a um, whatever else. Well, if I give that a think on, because I've run out of magnets, you see, so I'm not able to really magnetize him. So here's here's the original Warden Sprue. Originally it came up with a Paladin and the Errant you could build. Now then they released the Warden Kit, which is what you can see right there. Uh, that came out with this this Sprue. So you can make um, your Wardens, your Crusaders, your Errant, uh, your Gallants, all that stuff. So you got an auto cannon there. Part of the missile pods. That's the main assembly for the Avenger Gatling Cannon. Thunderstrike Gauntlet. Barrels for the Avenger Gatling Cannon. Got a melter there. Another shield, some of the mounts. The guard for the Avenger Gatling Cannon. New masks. Oh, I said new. No way, little gubbins for your uh, weapons. And there's the Storm Spear Missile Pod. You have the Iron Storm one there. This sprue looks like the... You get your Reaper Chainsaw in there. Nice big weapon. There's the underside of the torso. It goes straight into the hips. The two original masks. There's more, there's more, there's more, there's more, there's more typical Paladin one there. I use that for... I've got um, that one on my Crusade at the moment. There's the reactor. Rapid fire battle cannon. 
thermal cannon. The canisters for the uh, thermal cannon. That's that's where you, where the head goes. He's trying to auto focus on the uh, that there. So it's like that. Then you have all your most torso stuff. So you have your carapace, your brackets for your shoulders and where your arms go in. Exhaust pipes. The hatch. Top up out of the arms. If your big shoulder plates, your big pauldrons. Get a stubber. And these are the sides of the body where your arms go into. And you see them parts of the exhaust. Then finally, we have your hips, breastplate, a bit of a banner there, part of the head, crotch plate, I guess you could call it. Not one of the masks there. His feet, knee pads, the legs. And the uh, uh, greaves, like your shin guards. So, I'm going to go away. Um, I'm going to put this video up first. This is going to be an unboxing video. Um, I'm, I might build Canis. He is a cool model, and um, I will end up getting. Um, I'm hoping to get my hands on a Renegade box soon, so I can use two knights out of there to make my other variants. So uh, hopefully we'll get that sorted out. But I'm gonna get him built. I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna get him built and then put another video out later later date when Canis is built. And uh, yeah, I'll, we'll go over the rules more in depth and I'll think of some tactics maybe. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And um, for more for, for more updates and information, check out my Instagram. We also have a Discord server. Um, the links to them will be in the description down below. So thank you very much for watching. I'll be seeing you soon.